a good way for me to keep my spirits up and to feel the sense of connection that I was um that that seemed to be slipping away from me connection to myself connection to um you know the natural world to keep that up to keep that connection going um i wanted to write uh poems um and so that's what i did um during the first um or the second mco i spent it with the second lockdown with my parents in port dickson and so what i did was um i sat outside like on the front porch of our home and just waited for poems to come so i wanted to write poems about the natural world in some way and um to get inspired by it and to see what would come if i just sat there and observed the world around me and what um uh, and then i wrote basically a poem a day and so the poems that i'm going to read today uh come from that month uh, so i did this for a uh, for a month come from that month of um writing poems in response to the natural world so the first one that i'm going to read is called offering and it's about this bit of land just opposite our house um and it's just there just it's an empty it's a piece of empty land uh empty in the center that there are no um buildings there but it's full of life and there was is this um large busy fertile bush uh, um that basically caught my attention I was very intrigued by it and um a, this poem came out of simply watching watching that bush and um feeling pulled towards towards it, um and to offer something to it so this first poem is called offering performance where will my fear sit today right here in this field of green and brown and golden right here in the fluttering wings of my crow family right here in the sound of the jungle's peace right here on the bleached bark of my birch brother and on the smooth yellow bodies of sunbird aunties right up there on the blue jewel sky my fear plays on these like a dancing doll like strobe light a performance met with the elements <laughs> 